Right. Well, so far, even though we have the dense fog advisory, we're not showing too much issue with the visibility, at least on our current tracking map. It's improved a little bit, but it will also deteriorate a little bit, especially here in Okeechobee County, Okeechobee County, Indian River County, Martin counties, parts of those counties under the dense fog advisories. We're talking inland west of I-95, Palm Beach County around the lake and west of the Turnpike are in that fog advisory as well until 8 a.m. 10 a.m. for the Treasure Coast, but that's not it. The real punch comes from about 4 until 9 this afternoon. That's our highest risk for isolated or marginal severe storms. It's the lowest level of the spectrum. That's where we were yesterday as well when we saw those tornadoes. So what we have is a cold front that's going to plow in to some hot temperatures. We're up into the lower 80s today, and that will cause perhaps some more traumatic spin as well as lots of rain, lightning. Nothing really out there right now. A little bit of light rain over the lake region. That's it. But it's an impact weather situation with the beginnings in the 70s. Very consistent this morning. Impact situation with the fog for the morning hours. And then we're going to put the trigger on the storms here. Highest with the coverage at about 1 o'clock. Lasting through about 5 o'clock. Maybe even into the early evenings with the timing of that front. So unsettled again today. We'll be all over it for you. Yasmin. Thank you.